start off obviously last week, got a good win at Brown. What do you think, you know, offense got going there? What do you think went well for the offense and what did you take out of that moving forward? Uh, I think we were just clicking as a team, like everyone was doing their jobs. And I think when we got that first goal, we kind of just built the momentum off of that and we just kept going. So I think it's good to bring it in this weekend and Princeton's going to be really good to go against and to get that offense going again early earlier in the game would be really good for us. How important is it to finally get a win? And, and, and not only get a win, but score some goals. You're yeah. Three without scoring. I think it really helped us like as a team like to see the success that we can have and like it brings a light to like oh this is the team that we are like we can play like this so we should play it every game. When you look at a team like Princeton that you guys are looking to go up against what will it take and how do you use that momentum from that first win of the season going into this knowing that they're going to give you their best? Yeah um, I don't really keep up on Princeton but I think it's good that the win from Brown just really helped us like figure out all those struggles that we had before and like really getting everything into place just so we can take that momentum that we had from the win and just use everything that we did and build off of it and even be better against Princeton. What was that conversation like with coach after that win? It was like a it was a good feeling conversation. like we did it, we had fun doing it, we have the ability to do it. So now we just gotta keep that consistent and just go out and have fun and and score some goals. Uh, how, how, you, how are you doing with everything that happened in, uh, a couple weeks ago? Um, you know, it's tough, but having the team and the support like that they've had, like coming to my dad's funeral helped a lot just to see them that that they're here and like 24 girls, like they're going to be surrounding you. And I think the biggest thing is just like not being alone and they're always there for me and supporting me. So it's good. I went Saturday and not only getting the win, but Getting over, getting into goals. You know, you guys had a long goal streak. Yeah, it's uh, it certainly feels good. It's good to see the girls smile. It's good to see the girls uh, see some, see some results, um, and and get some recognition for for seeing those results, right? And I think, um, you know, just breaking it down, scoring some goals was huge, right? I think we've been pressing and, and getting some scoring chances through the first uh, part of the season here that we haven't necessarily finished, and I think. Uh, Any time that you can get those results, it gets more buy-in and more credibility for what we're trying to teach as coaches. So I think it was a huge breath of fresh air for the girls. It's certainly a sigh of relief a little bit. Um, you know, and just the way we scored the goals, I think it, it really helped our, our group gain some some confidence. I mean, you guys have had leads in years past, and it seemed not able to hold them. When Brown got the 3-1 late in the third period, was there any sense of panic or just saying, or what did you tell the, to the team uh, after Brown scored? Honestly, uh, from puck drop, um, you could feel the sense in our group that we were going to have success uh, the entire game. Just just the belief on the bench. Um, I, I don't think I've ever been more relaxed than, than what I was a, in that game on the bench in terms of um, just how our players were playing. You know, and I think you can feel how committed they were, how dialed in they were. We, we scored a goal. You know, we put on an energy line out after that. They have a great shift. And, and just little examples like that where you could feel it every single shift. So it was more about for us just we wanted to maintain puck possession. Um, we wanted to continue to do the things that were giving us success and, and worry less about really just sitting back and just continue to attack and do the things that were giving us success all game. What, what changed um, between the game before and then this one and then the game going that you guys are going into that you know and you feel confident that they're going to bring that same energy momentum into Princeton? Well, I think, I think Friday, um, you know, things didn't uh, – go necessarily like we wanted to go against Yale. Um, we had a good solid discussion. We watched a little video from, from Friday night's game on Saturday morning. And, and ultimately I think it came down to the girls just took ownership of, of what they wanted to accomplish on Saturday. Um, really, you know, we, we talk all the time. We do plenty of video. It's really, the girls really just said, Hey, um, we want to take ownership of, of what we want to control here on Saturday. We believe what we can do and what we can accomplish. And uh, you could, you could just see and feel more than anything that, that the group really wanted uh, that victory on, on Saturday right from the outset. And I think, um, again, just from us scoring some goals, getting that belief, getting those two points on Saturday, I think ultimately, hopefully, he's given us some confidence this week in practice and in going into a good opponent like Princeton um, will continue to hopefully do the same and, and play the way we want to play. Rank or not, rank, we know Princeton's a good team. What will it take to, to get one more on them? Well, I think, I think everything, I think, you know, 
a big thing for us is, is we want to continue to, um, you know, utilize our, our offense and we want to look to score, go- score goals early in the game. Um, I think we want to make Princeton play from behind a little bit. Um, you know, they have, uh, they have probably one of the best lines in, in college, college hockey, right, with, with Philly A. Connors and, uh, and Bullock, you know, let, let alone our league, but, but probably one of the best lines in college hockey. So um, obviously we got to keep them at bay. Um, I think we've got to make sure that we maintain possession and limit some of our turnovers. And uh, our special teams are going to have to beat theirs. You know, I think they're top five special teams, uh, PK and power play. So we got to be better in them in those areas. And, um, you know, hopefully our goaltending continues to, to give us a strong performance as well.